Well, hey, everybody. Happy New Year's Eve from Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's, uh, my goodness, it's uh, 818 here local time. Oh, it's going to be 1018 back in uh, New York, 918 back in New York City. But anyway, I need to be quick. I tried this once and it took me 20 minutes. And I found out what the 15-minute rule was all about. So we don't want to make that mistake again. Okay, I picked my top 10, and they're really tobaccos that I go to. Um, some of them you'll know well, some of them you might not know very well at all. But it's the stuff that I like when I decided what kind of list to make, you know. Everybody's going to go Stonehenge, uh, uh, Stonehaven, and uh, Penzance, and on and on and on. I decided not to do that. What are the tobaccos that I go to and uh, I, I put in my pipe? Uh, real quick, thank you. Just finished in my Kamois, a bowl of uh, uh, Peter Heinrich Dark Strong that was gifted to me um, by uh, Les Callender down in Louisiana. And then right around the block from him, old Nate the Great and uh, Rachel, uh, Turkey Ray 8, I think it is, uh, they gifted me that. So, hey, I've been using that ever since I got it. So I want to thank you all for that. Without further ado, top 10. The number 10 blend is a McClellan blend. It is Eric Nording's Hunter Blend Labrador. Okay, let me see if I can get a good, if you can get a good look at that. Okay, and it's got a lot of black Cavendish in it. And, um, oh gosh, it's got mellow Burleys and some sweet uh, Virginias in it. You can detect a little bit of... Uh, coffee, depending on what kind of pipe you're smoking it out of, and if you're sipping or puffing, you might taste a little rum, a little, little brandy, whiskey kind of flavor. Anyway, uh, that's number 10, right there again. Okay, number two, one you might not be too familiar with, it is a Broken Flake, it is, let's see, let me get that where you can see it, Stanwell Melange, Stanwell Melange. It's got black Cavendish in it, Burley, Orientals, Turkish, and Virginia. Um, it's a top-of-the-line aromatic. It's as good as some of the really well-known, well-thought-of aromatics. Um, you get a hint of apricot in it, a little hint of vanilla in it. Um, there's been a time or two I thought I tasted coconut. I couldn't be sure, and I don't do coconuts, so it wasn't a ghosting, so... Uh, anyway, so Stanwell Melange is number nine. Number eight, surprise for you, because this ain't your daddy or your granddaddy's Borkum Riff. This was a limited edition put out in 2012, and man, it is good. Go read the reviews on it, see what people have to say. It just goes to prove that if they want to, they could really make a uh, fantastic, fantastic tobacco. It's a... Uh, Blended by the Scandinavian Tobacco Group. It is a limited edition. It's called the number 22 mixture. And it's got fruit and vanilla in it. It's um, it, it's really cool. It's got 65% Brazilian and African Burley in it. It's got, um, and, and Virginia, 27% uh, African Black Cavendish and 8% uh, Red Virginia you know, with some tropical fruit and uh, vanilla in it. It only comes in the 100, 100 gram packs or tins. It's a little paint can. And uh, this is good. This is really, really very underrated, I think. Okay, number seven is what I call the working man's tobacco. Everybody knows this one, but I keep going back to it time and time again. Just love it. It's lame. IQ. Why? I always want to say IQ. 1Q. You know what I call the working man's blend. It's Golden Cavendish with Virginia in it. It's a ribbon cut. And it's got, you know, you can detect a little bit of uh, vanillas in it. But it's a, it's a good looking tobacco, good smelling tobacco. Smokes really, really well. Okay, we're making time. We're doing pretty good. All right, number six is going to be Peter Stockaby, English Luxury. Another tobacco I like real good. It's, it's, easy, it's readily available. It's very inexpensive. Um, it's got black Cavendish in it, Georgian Virginias, Mexican Burleys, 
and Cyprian and Latakias. It is a ribbon cut. Um, I think it's probably a good one for, it's kind of a light English. So for any of you guys that are aromatic smokers and uh, haven't ventured over to Englishes, you know, this is a good one to get you there. You can start off with this one again. It is Peter Stockaby, English Luxury, coming in at number six. Now, what was really interesting when I decided to do this, and I'm checking my notes here, I've got one, two, three, four, five aromatics, four Englishes, and a vapor. So it's pretty, uh, I think a lot of you think I'm just an English guy, but uh, I like aromatics also. So that was number six. Okay, number five is another aromatic. It's a Lane Limited BCA. Um, I like this one a lot also. It's a uh, uh, buyer cured Cavendish. It's got, um, when you open the, 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 the it's, the, they uh, mellow it and age it with whiskey barrels. And so they cut, if you get it in a tin, and not bulk, it'll come in a, uh, with a uh, little uh, stave of the little cut piece of the of the barrel, so it ages with the whiskey. Um, real nice flavor. This stuff is it, it's so jet black it almost looks purple. It really, really does. It's great smelling. It burns well. Um, smoked it out of Meerschaum. Smoked them out of Cobbs. I smoked them out of Briars. I mean, it just it. Doesn't matter what you smoke it out of. You seem to get everything that it's got to offer. Readily available, very inexpensive. Love it. Okay, so let's see. That was number five. Number four. It's another Peter Stockenby. It's Luxury Bullseye Flake. Same story as with the rest of Stockenby. So you can find them anywhere. They're inexpensive. And I think they're very, very good tobaccos. This is a uh, Virginia blend with Louisiana Perique. So it's got a little bit about that, that spice to it. But it also has some black Cavendish thrown in. Um, it's kind of a curly cut. They've got a disc that it comes in. Um, the Cavendish is fermented. Let me just pull one out. And we're doing good on time, so... There's what one looks like. You can see it's got some light Virginias, dark Virginias. You can see the uh, Cavendish in the center. That particular one doesn't look as black, but um, let me see if I can find one. You know, here's one a little bit darker. It's concave, but uh, a little bit dark there in the middle. You kind of see that. Delicious stuff. It really is. Delicious stuff. So that was my number four. Now we're going to go to what I call the metal round. This is going to be for the bronze, the silver, and the gold. All right. Turn the page on my notes. The only way I can remember all this stuff is to write some of it down. Try to get this done as quickly as possible. But my number three... is pipe tobacco that's just recently come out and I was really 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 excited because I guess it's been about 25 close to 25 years ago since I started smoking cigars and uh, I always loved their cigars and the cigar company was Drew Estate and now they're making some wonderful tobacco this is called Drew Estate Meat Pie and it's got a very pungent flavor, uh, smell to it. It um, it's got a lot of Kia, Orientals, Turkish, Virginia. It's a real thick smoke. And the the interesting thing is, out of this line, there's supposed to be eight. They've released seven, and six of them are aromatic. This is the only one um, that is not an aromatic. That is an English um, or something around that. It's close. Very close. A lot of people call it a light English, mild English. It's it's definitely an English. It's got English tones to it. Um, delicious. Very good. Uh, they've got another. They've got a Navy Flake supposed to be out. They haven't released it out yet. So we'll see what it's like. But again, coming in 
with the bronze medal, Drew Estate, Meat Pie. All right, down to the last two. And I've switched them around, I've got to tell you. I'd have one at one, one at two, one at one, one at two, flip, 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 flip. But this is what I'm going with. I'm going with my silver medal. Needs not much of an introduction. It's Frog Morton Cellar. Can't get enough of it. In fact, you see, I'm about out. If anybody bought some of it and has a quantity of it and they don't like it and want to get rid of it, PM me. I'll be glad to trade you, you know, uh, whatever you want for it. Because I, I, I absolutely love the stuff. It's, 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 it's just absolutely great. It's, um, you know, a ribbon cut with a lot, a lot of key in it, Virginia. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it's just, it's just wonderful. It really is. So number two, Frog Morton Cellar. Last but not least, it's from a little bitty pipe shop that was started here in Tulsa, Oklahoma in 1961. Moved about, uh, in 1971, they were downtown. Uh, they moved to a little, uh, um, I don't know what you call it. It's a, it's a cool little shopping marketplace. They've got a little bitty store in there. It's been there since 1971. It's called Ted's Tob Tobacco Shop or Ted's Pipe Shop Limited, I think is what the correct name is. And the tobacco is Ted's 300 Founders Blend. Okay, now this is, this stuff is unreal. It really, really is. Um, Never tasted anything like it. Y'all got to try this stuff. Um, it's made of cube cut burleys, a lot of Kia, and it's got a variety of Virginia flakes, but there's Orientals in it. But I didn't understand about I started studying on what Orientals were, where they came from. There's tons of them. The two Orientals in here are called Mahala and Yenidije which I'm sure I'm saying wrong. It's spelled Y-E-N-I-D-J-E. -E. Uh, those are the two Orientals that are in it. So it's got the Latakia, the Mahala, the Mayenjie, and a variety of Virginia Flakes. Um, when I read up on these, these particular Orientals, I was shocked to find out how many Orientals there are in the world and how many... Uh, places that certain types are indigenous to and was really shocked to find out that some of them are almost to the point of extinction but what I did find out about those two orientals were that they were top of the line they're well respected throughout the world people think of them as, uh, as some of the highest quality uh, orientals that you can get and you can switch out the word oriental Turkish it's pretty much all the same once you get into finding out uh, where it all comes from, the amount of countries that it comes from, um, it's it's just um, it, it's amazing. But the stuff is fantastic. I got some more of this for Christmas from my lovely wife. And I'll let you see if you can. Uh, whoops! I didn't, there we go. Uh, smells great. Tastes great, burns cool, no bite, uh, top shelf. So my number one for 2013 is Ted's, number 300, Founders Blend. Um, I'm going to have a contest soon, and I think I'm going to make this the uh, contest prize. I'd like to get it out there and have a lot of people try this and and review it and uh, find out if I'm crazy or if I'm right on mark. But anyway, coming up on 15 minutes, so I'm going to have to cut it short. Uh, Happy New Year's Eve to everybody. That's my top 10. Um, that's what I live with. Some of them you might like, some of them you might not know. Uh, some of them might, uh, might be something that you want to try. Um, anyway, from my house to yours on uh, New Year's Eve 2013, I want to wish you a happy and prosperous and safe New Year's. If you're going to be outside driving at night, y'all be, be very careful. So from Tulsa, Oklahoma, Happy New Year's. We'll see you on the flip-flop.